Hello, my name is Evan McKinney. I'm a graduate student from the University of Pittsburgh, and this is my work on using quantum hardware speed limits to improve basis gate selection. Quantum basis gates are analogous to classical computer instruction sets. However, characterizing and calibrating quantum gates is relatively expensive, so we would prefer just to select one basis gate that we can do the entirety of the algorithm with. This means we put attention to inspecting the hardware and determining what is the most efficient basis gate in order to reduce overall time to completion of the algorithm in order to boost fidelity. For our system, the snail coupler couples qubits and performs gates by driving the snail at either the sum or the difference of those qubits. Together, those two interactions can be just, uh, written in this Hamiltonian, which form our basis gate design space, which I geometrically represent in the wild chamber, this picture on the right, which tells us how different ratios between conversion and gain plot as different gates that we might choose to calibrate. In order to determine which of the possible gates from our design space we should calibrate, we need to combine two metrics to determine its, uh, which instruction would minimize the overall time to completion of an algorithm. On the left is its decomposition efficiency. This tells us how efficient a basis gate would be at decomposition, which means that how many times do I have to apply my basis gate for it to become a different gate? And on the right is the hardware latency, which is when I apply the gate on my hardware, how do the different ratios of the conversion and gain interactions combine in order to reach some speed limit this speed limit will limit the how fast the execution of that basis gate can be. So the picture on the left tells us we want an instruction that covers the space very quickly. So I have to repeat my gate the least number of times. But I also want a gate that has a very high speed limit so I can execute it quickly. And together, if we have uh, an, a gate that does both of these, that tells us what the best gate we should calibrate is. On our system, we end up finding that the most efficient gate is the squared iSwap gate, but we wanted to know if there was any way we could make it even more efficient. Since the two qubit gate is limited by its drive on the snail, we add one qubit gate drives that will allow us to do more computational work with while still obeying the speed limit. Adding these one qubit gate drives to our design space adds this curvature, which means that our decomposition efficiency can now be boosted without exceeding the speed limit as before. And we use this to produce fidelity of our algorithms.